Hey, what's up guys? I'm Matt back with another figure review and today we're going to be taking a look at the all new DC Collectibles DC Comics Designer Series Greg Capullo the Joker figure based off of Endgame. This is such a nice figure. This is one I have been really anticipating. You can see it comes with two different head sculpts and that head sculpt right there reminds me of what was cut from the Suicide Squad movie when supposedly the Joker interacts with the team of Suicide Squad in, uh, when they're in the city. But um, I'll show you guys a quick image right here in a second. But uh, yeah, so here's the package. You got a really cool image right there on the side of the Joker. Some artwork here. See Capullo. Uh, you got other figures right there on the back. Now these are all available at BigBadToyStore.com, so you guys can click on the link in the description and pick this up. I do plan on picking up Zero Year Batman. I'll probably pick him up this weekend at Frank and Sons. Uh, the Flash I might get. I'll have to see it in person. But that's pretty much it for the packaging. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy. The Joker out of the packaging. I'm going to show you all the accessories that he does come with. He does come with a gun right here. Then it comes with the little sign right there that says bang so very nice you can see it is sculpted pretty good the paint applications on it is pretty nice so it looks very clean so you have that right there and this is some, somewhat of like a hard plastic that's on here but if, I'm pretty sure if you mess with this you can break this off so you got the gun you have an axe right here which looks really nice you can see there's the handle and the blade itself let me show you guys a quick little kind of like a comparison with a NECA one. I don't know why I had it right here, so I just wanted to show you guys a comparison of an axe. But you get this one right here, and it is a soft rubber material for the axe. And you also get an interchangeable head for the Joker, which I absolutely love. I love how this has, you know, the, the you know, damaged side of the face, you know, the hair is kind of, you know, missing. You see little green spots there. Very, very cool. Such a great look, man. Look at the detailing on that. The eyes, the wrinkles. The shadings, the paint applications just look fantastic. Such a great piece, and the hair looks awesome as well. You can see, you can see even the uh, ear right there also has a little chunk missing. Very, very cool. So you get that interchangeable head right there. Now we take out the actual figure. Now this guy looks so nice. Look at him. Very, very cool. Um, honestly, I prefer the other head sculpt to go with this, but this right here is just really cool. Look at that. Oh man, so beautiful. Look at the bottom of the nostrils is red. You can see the clean cut on the sides. Very, very cool. So this one obviously is not battle damage, but that head sculpt, man, this is one of my favorite Joker head sculpts that I have from an uh, action figure. Um, he's wearing a black suit. You can see he's got the purple, purple little like napkin right there in the pocket. He's got a black tie and like a gray undershirt and uh, looks to be, he has some white gloves. This is going to be the one where you place the, the gun in and then this one probably for the axe. Um, it's kind of like a soft rubber material for the body part of the coat. Everything else is pretty much the sleeves are sculpted on, but it looks great. Suit looks really, really clean. You can see it's kind of split right there on the back and it opens here. The tie and everything is sculpted on and then he's just pretty much just wearing just black pants all the way through and black shiny shoes, which are great. These look awesome. They look real. And in the bottom, he does have peg holes. Now, in the way of the Joker's articulation, the head can rotate, it goes up and down. You can also see he's got a little bit of lines on the neck there, but the head can rotate, go up and down. Arms do go, do they go in and out? No, they don't go in and out. They go forward and back, so it just has a swivel, a bend at the elbow, lower arm rotation, or lower hand rotation, I should say. Uh, he has rotation at the waist. Doesn't look like he has an ab crunch, but I mean, this is DC Collectibles. Uh, the legs don't go in and out, they go forward and back, a bend at the knee, and the foot can rotate and goes up and down. So he's got some pretty good range of motion, probably could be a little bit better, but it is DC Collectibles, like I said. Such a great figure. Now, I'm gonna pop this head off here, and I wanna do a comparison on how this one looks. Oh, see, this looks so much better. Look at that. Oh, this is awesome, I love this. I love this so much. And then if you wanna put the gun in the hand, There you go. Look at that. Such a great piece. Yeah, the guys, there's my review today. We're looking at the DC Collectible Designer Series, The Joker, based off of End Games. Uh, this is a Greg Capullo um, design. But let me know what you guys think about this figure, guys. A very, very cool figure. Definitely worth picking up. If you guys, you know, were thinking about getting this or doubting or whatever reasons, I do recommend you get this because the head sculpt on this is beautiful. The sculpt overall is great. And the other interchangeable head is awesome. Let me know what you guys think about this. Hit that like, share, and subscribe button. And uh, we'll see you guys soon. Stay tuned because I got a lot of reviews coming up, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.